So hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out some Poundland false nails. So these are some new nails that I've not um, seen before in Poundland. They are Fern McCann's and they're the Glamour Girl Stiletto Gloss and they are like a rose gold um, shiny lovely coloured nail so obviously a pound from Poundland so in there you get 24 nails and some glue so what I've already done is uh, matched up the sizing of the nails to my own nails and then the glue which you get with it I won't actually use I prefer to use um, a brush so what I tend to do is empty this into this so I've got the brush to use and I just find it helps the nails stay on a lot longer. Um, I also got this in another um, pack of false nails previously, an elegant touch thing, and it's like a nail protector. So I'll use that as well. And then I've also got, which I've never used before until recently, this is for um, trimming your cuticles. And I got one of these in a manicure set not long ago. Um, the only problem is it's very, they're very sharp and because I've used it quite a bit, it's, it's blunted it a bit and I'm finding it's dragging on my cuticles. So I've bought some more. I got um, 10 of these from eBay. I think they're only something like £1.89. So first of all, I've washed my hands. Um, my nails are in an absolute mess now, unfortunately. Because I've been wearing false nails for so long, they're just wrecked. So I have to put some more on to cover the mess. So I've already washed my hands to wash any grease or anything off my fingers. I will then prepare the cuticles with this little gadget. So I've done all of them except for this finger here. And what you do, you do have to be careful because it's very, very sharp. And you actually just trim round you can feel it as you go, it just grabs a bit of the skin. And as you can see, that's a bit gross, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's all the little bits of the dead skin that comes off. So that's all of them done now with the cuticle remover. But if you're not overly confident using it, because I have cut myself a couple of times where I've not concentrated and I've gone a little bit too either deep or you know too far and it's made it bleed but not for long so they are fantastic but only if you feel confident enough to use them so the next stage is just to buff up the nails i bought one of these again from ebay and it's got different um textures on it so you've got your main nail file on there this is well it tells you what it's for so that's for to neaten the edges number three is to even out any ridges, four is smooth the surface of nails, five is buff to smooth any imperfections and six is to polish the nails to give them a high gloss finish. Well we won't be using that one for sure because we're putting false nails on. Now look you can see what I've just done, I've just caught that off screen a little bit so you can see what it does, it just makes it bleed a bit but that will soon stop. So because my nails are in such a mess, they are very ridged at the moment, so I don't really need to buff them up too much. Um, what I would say is if you're using them for the first time, I would I would buff your nails quite probably with the, the most coarse, of, coarse side. So I'm going to go for this side to do mine. And because my nails are quite damaged, I've got to be careful not to do too much because I don't want to take off too much more nail. Right, so that's the nails just roughed up a bit. Um, to be honest, I think because I'm using this nail savior stuff, I probably didn't really need to do that. So if you haven't got any of this, uh, I would say to buff your nails, but this I do find does protect your nails a bit. And again, it gives something for the glue to grab onto. So I'm just gonna put a bit of this on each of the nails to give them some protection. Right, so that's that, just a quick quick uh, splash over of that and then I need to just let that dry. I just want to say a little disclaimer, I am not a beautician, I'm not a nail technician, I have no qualifications in any of this. This is purely me as an amateur on YouTube having a go at doing false nails. So just while that's drying, I'll, I'll explain a bit about the nails. So like I say, they come in a pack of 24 
and you get these are really good actually because you can see it very clearly probably won't be able to see it that well on here they've got little, little numbers on the back so what I did was I just lined them all up all 24 with the appropriate numbers so one one two two and then what I did was I just put the nails over each to match up to find out which were the best suited size and then I've ended up with those and what this does as well because there's 24 because everybody's got different shape nails or widths of nails a couple of the numbers were repeated so I think there was two lots of five two lots of six because those sort of nails are quite similar in size on most people so I think they give you a few extras there in case you wanted to do five and five or six and six rather than one two three four five six right so that's all dry now time to apply the nails give that a little bit of a shake up so what I'm using here is Elegant Touch and like I say it's a brush on glue bought this separately but it's really just so I have a brush to use because I just find it so much easier to do so I'll start with the smallest first and what I tend to do different people do this in different ways I usually um, apply the glue just to my nail and then stick it on whereas other people can do nail and false nail so I just I usually paint over the whole nail and then just do a little bit of another stripe in the middle just to give a better adhesion you just paint this on like normal uh, nail varnish so I've done the full one and then a little bit more in the middle and then you apply the nail as close to the nail bed as you can get it and almost push it into the nail bed a little bit making sure that it's central and straight so it's not wonky this is a bit difficult to do because I'm sort of doing it at an angle I should be doing it like that really and then you just press on the nail it says to hold for 30 seconds but I don't think it needs to be that long just press all around to make sure you get a good bit of adhesion what you need to be careful with this is as you can see what I've just done there some of the glue has come out and now it's gone on the nail so you have to be very careful with some some of the nails it doesn't matter because you can't see it but with something like this because they're high shine you can see there I've got a tiny bit on there and I won't be able to get that off right so just carry on with the rest now it's the fine balance of getting enough glue on there but not too much so put the nail in place make sure it's straight as you can see I'm getting too I think I'm gonna have to use a little bit less glue on these because it's coming through right let's let's try a little bit less glue on this one so push it in place get it straight and hold it down yeah that's much better I've not got any spillage on that one okay so that's the first hand done Ooh, beautiful look at those all right let's start with the next lot so there they are all finished I think they look really nice for a pound um, I've made a bit of a bodge on a couple of them but I think that's because I'm trying to film at a certain angle so had I have done them the normal way that I do them I don't think I'd have made such a mistake on that one um, and it's got glue all over it if you can see and unfortunately there's not a spare one in the pack um, there is one actually but it, it's probably a little bit too big so I may well swap that out if that one drops off but yeah um, I think they're fantastic for a pound absolutely as easy as others to apply um, no not quite you do you do have to be a bit careful because of the shine uh, but I, I think they look lovely what I'm going to do because some of them have got a bit of a funny edge on so I'm just going to take the uh, emery board or the nail file and just be carefully just file the ends of them down you can do this so if you find that the nails are either too long for you or not quite the shape you want you can cut the ends off a bit or you can just file them down so I'm just going to do that a bit off screen because you don't need to see that so there they are all done they feel pretty strong I'll be interested to see how well these last 
Um, sometimes they do ping off nails just do that and you just can stick them back on um, and then I'll, I'll also be interested to see if the uh, the foil comes off this because I have had some um, of this sort of type before in a different brand and after a couple of days the foil came off because as you can see it's silver underneath so it's just like a layer on the top but what I'll do now is try not to get those wet for a good few hours so that they dry I mean the, the glue it's like um, super glue it does dry pretty quickly um, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep them out of water for as long as I can but yeah I'm really pleased with those and let me know in the comments below if you've tried these or any other Poundland nails or um, if there's any nails you've used which I need to give a go which you found you know to be decent budget nails as it were so that's it and bye for now